as you all know, this is my 2020 Mustang GT, also known as Hades, and this car is a performance pack 401A, pretty much all optioned out, digital dash, the whole nine, besides obviously Recaro's and Magna Ride. One of the more important things that I look for, and it's all preference based when buying any car, is the premium aspect of it, such as the leather seats that are heated and cooled. You have the big touch screen. And when it comes to the dash, that's just kind of like a bonus feature, but the leather interior is a must for me. Now I do understand when you start adding these up charges, such as the premium seats and the big screen in the middle, the digital dash, the price can definitely get pretty steep. I paid a good penny for this car. A base model of this car, I wanna say is probably 10 to $15,000 cheaper. With keeping that in mind though, let's say you do end up with a base model Mustang, but you do wanna upgrade to that more premium feel with leather seats this company custom interior has you covered and we can go ahead and dive into the box and see what's inside I have the full kit for the s550 Mustang laid out here behind me and this is going to go inside my buddy Tim's car he just bought a brand new EcoBoost it is a base and uh, that's kind of why I took on this video because the company reached out to me they wanted me to you know put this in a car I wasn't gonna put it in mine because I just like black seats and mine are heated and cooled I don't know how these will react you know, considering it is a seat cover. It's not replacing any of the cloth or the leather. It strictly goes over the seat, which it does have a great fitment. And both of my buddies ended up doing this kit as well, Jake and Colin. They did it to Colin's car and it came out amazing, honestly. I even sat in them one day, I was like, holy crap. Like, this has a really good quality to it. And one of the main questions with this kit is the quality. Uh, just based off feel, it does feel really nice. Um, it's not obviously your premium leather it's not going to be you know top shelf stuff but it does have a really good feeling to it it doesn't feel like a pleather like a super cheap couch that's like the best way i could describe it starting off the top here you can see we have the headrest there then moving on we have the back the backrest the, the back portion whatever that's where your ass goes and this is the back seat that's where your ass goes and that's where your back leans against. So this is the full kit. Just remember to keep in mind though, you're not stripping your seats apart. You're not taking off the factory cloth, the factory leather, and then slapping these on. These go directly over them, but they do fit super, super tight, which is important because a lot of aftermarket seat covers out there are junk. They're just straight up junk. They start wrinkling, they start ripping even, but I can tell you right now with sitting in Colin's car, the one that Jake did, it's seriously some really really good stuff for only $500 too So you can find the links and all this in the description Tim's about to pull up before you jump into this and buy these you will have to remove all the seats out of the car Which you know to some people might not be able to but it's really not all that hard It's just a t55 that takes out the front seats and then the back seats I want to say it's just like some clips and they just pull out maybe a couple bolts on the uh, the backrest part Mr. Timmy just showed up Nerd. Timmy! What's up, Timmy? Doing good, how are you? I like your frohawk mullet, you. Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. I thought your car was black. You want red seats on gray? It's still dark. I didn't say black. I swear I thought this was black. Mm, you said dark. You, can, you, can, yes. turn, you can turn back now. <laughs> Don't mind the sweep. I know it's a race car. We're gonna have to get moving on this. Timmy over here has been jerking off all morning and we have like, why is that so squeaky? I see you just got the new daily, huh? Yep. Okay. Fucking 200 miles a day. <laughs> Gee, are you serious? Yeah, dead ass. 100 God miles dang. Away to work. We do have to take the seats out. We have to go pop those plastic covers, rip these seats out, and we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. So we, we could actually just install the red head, headrest and just leave it like that. <laughs> Front seats are ripped out. We're actually gonna go and throw the skins on the fronts first and then work with the backs because he does live you know, a good hour, an hour and a half away. Uh, back seats will be just the last part we mess with. But right now, front passenger and driver are out. I don't know how you do it on YouTube, dude. That so we got the bottom side done right now. And it's honestly a very simple install. You just feed the leather over the cloth seat, and then you have these two straps that come from the seat cover, and we just hook them up into there, and then you have to disconnect this like little fabric that comes from the factory, but it's super easy, just two little elastic bands. And then you have these three like elastic clips. You can see these three right here. 
these are part of the seat cover and it has a lot of tension with elastic bands so that's what keeps it completely pulled and nice and tight so bottom section's done and I mean it's that ain't going anywhere guys this is like this is on there and it just fits so well Tim's over there knocking that seat and we're just gonna keep on trucking back piece is all mounted up and guys it fits like a glove this side right here has a zipper so this allows some adjustments but once you once you zip this down it really does fit super tight and then you start tucking all of this into the plastic here's a look from the front I mean it, it's it, it doesn't move there is no such thing as, as this leather moving on you I could promise you that so uh, the last thing to do are just the headrest and then pop them on boom all right guys so we just completed the skin overlay from custom interiors and honestly these things are really nice um the back seats same same application as the fronts it's just a big old cover and you can look at the back you can see you got the velcro up top and then you have all these hooks that hook onto the plastic uh, bezel of the back seat and it's not going anywhere so that's a huge plus obviously when we reinstall we're gonna have to feed the buckle the buckles through here same thing for the back portion if you look at one of these this is all held together by velcro you just gotta mess with it a little bit just get it perfectly centered then strap them down and those will actually zip together you can see there's a zipper um, in the middle of those so once we put those in those will zip front seats piece of cake actually a lot easier than the backs um, I mean it's all easy though that's the thing this legit what this took us 45 minutes to do everything so far um, reinstalling is just gonna be a little more time-consuming just cuz gotta get the seat in bolt them in make sure everything's ready to rock but yeah I think that's what we're gonna do now get these things bolted in give uh, Tim a little seat test maybe go take a little spin around the block see what it feels like and I mean there you go that's that's the covers guys it's it's some premium stuff for only 500 bucks too can't really go wrong we just got the rear seat put in and guys this is some cool stuff man like it's su it's super simple there is no hard things about this at all um with two people i it, by yourself i could see it being a little complicated but it's definitely doable by yourself but take a look at the rear seat you can see we have the seat belt buckles slapped in there it's all bolted in and um as far as those clips they get fed in between the seats and then you have to set them through the trunk but this is like this is money for real they don't get much better than that for an aftermarket seat cover so we're gonna go ahead reinstall the passenger and driver and i will give you full full little look of it all Installation's all finished up. Easy peasy, guys. Literally, like, still have daylight, which we were actually fighting because I thought this was going to take a little longer than, you know, we expected. But, wow, what a freaking difference. You go from cloth dark seats to these really bright red, very clean, uh, I guess, seat overlays. I don't even want to, like, call them seat covers because I feel like it's kind of a insult because you think of seat covers, you think of shit that's just slapped on and shifts while you sit in them and whatnot but take a look at these so looking in from the passenger side you can just tell it just it really brightens up the interior it looks so good honestly and they are super tight um the bolster is really tight lower bolster is tight headrest is super tight um, and it covers the whole seat completely around which is nice um i did see in jake's video steve did point out that the only thing that remains cloth is the seatbelt holder but um i mean that's really that ain't no thing that's that's petty but i'm gonna slip that in there boom let's go take a look at the driver's side looking good same concept and then you have the back seats so overall it's sick and how do you like it Honestly, one through ten. I mean, they they were free. We'll go ahead and put that out there right now. They were free, but dude, I would give them eight nine. Dude, it's nice, eight, isn't nine. it? Just Perfect. for just for a little like uh, I, I'm gonna start calling them a seat skin. So like I said, I feel like a cover is just an insult because I mean it really does completely cover the seats. It's not the front only. It's not the back only. Fully covered them, and now you have like essentially a leather um, premium feel and look. So. Uh, let's go let's go give it a comfort test we haven't sat in them yet so haven't sat in them let me stop uh complimenting and rambling before we do that because that's pretty important but i'm i'm sure just by looking at them and how they feel they're gonna feel great 
Ooh, this feel good. A little far up there, my knees about in the dash, but. <laughs> These feel hella comfortable. Hell yeah, I feel like it, it gave it more of like a, the bolster like hugs you more. Oh yeah. These feel damn good. The great thing about it is, is with just installing these, they haven't been worn in. Just like any other like leather material, you know, like wallets is a great example. Once you start putting it in your jeans, you start walking around with it, it gets worn in, it just feels so much better. Um, so as time goes on, these will really start to form to the factory cloth seats beneath it and it's just gonna be a perfect fit. Links in the description, I highly recommend it. I really do, I'm not even just saying that. I wasn't paid to say that or anything. It was just a simple product review that they sent for free and that's why I'm hooking Tim up here. Timmy, I'm hooking Timmy up. <laughs> Hopefully get Thank him, you. Uh, you know, get them rock and rolling with some cool looking seats, but. All right, zero to 60, let's do it. Well, I won't tell him what I found in here. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of funny though, because he mentioned, oh, I can't wait to come out in the mornings now to my nice cold seats, <laughs> which is true, because cloth seats definitely are a little more comfortable during the winter. Winter, or uh, leather seats suck when it's cold, no doubt. But this thing's smooth too, man, I like this. Yeah. Eco Boost feels good. You have been happy with it, with oh, like your I've daily driving? It. I've loved it, dude. Hell yeah. It handles bumps, it handles speed, like. Yeah, it's actually, uh, this is Tyler's mom's oh, really? um, magnetic gray right here. Oh, there you go. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, Everything dude, feels solid. It. Yeah, dude. Do they? It, like, it's still, it's so tight on the fucking seat. I know, like, that's what's crazy. It feels just like the normal one, just leather. I know, it's. Like, there's no, like, bubbles or anything. And just wait till summertime when the heat from the yeah. sun, like, really starts to mm -hmm. bake them and stuff. It's so much brighter, too. Like, the dash is, like, reflecting. Yeah, yeah. Right oh, now. dude, it's bright. <laughs> It's bright, bright. You open the door, it's like bam. But it has a good look to it though. Yeah. And I didn't even know you had a touch screen in this because not all base models, that's an option. So that's a big option too. So now you really, I mean, honestly, other than it being heated and cooled, whoop de doo yeah. you have kind of a premium feel now. So yep, yep. pretty sick. I just want to go ahead and give a huge shout out to Custom Interior. You guys absolutely kill it with this product, honestly. I haven't seen seat skins this well before. Um, I'm stoked with it. I would definitely run them if I didn't have heated and cooled seats. That's just the only thing. Uh, they have a lot of different colors too, by the way. This isn't the only colors. They have different patterns and stuff. Um, I figured since he had a darker car, the red would look more, you know, more premium now. I don't know if I'd put red like in the red Corvette. That's just kind of bright. Some people like it, but uh, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully, you know, you can snag this pretty, pretty inexpensive $500 for all the seats and you could transform your Mustang to look pretty sick and feel really good too. Um, all the link and stuff is in the description, and if you have any questions or anything, uh, just comment down below, and I'll read them and try to get back with y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, what's your Twitch, man? Uh, Black B L Z C K underscore Bonds. And you, you guys be grinding Apex, right? Yes, sir. All right, go check them out on Twitch, guys. I'll also link that in the description. Show some support. But I'm out of here, going to eat, starving, <laughs> deuces.